what does our emissions look like and, and how does it look like over time? This chart here looks at uh, greenhouse gas emissions in the province uh, since 1990. That's the black line across the bottom. Uh, you'll see there as well a red line. Uh, that's real gross domestic product uh, in the province, uh, again, since 1990. Uh, and the green line is real personal income. So that's the income we mean you have in our pockets. And really what you see is that there's been a decoupling of greenhouse gas emissions with economic growth since about the, about the year 2000 ballpark. Uh, so, so far we've been able to grow the economy a lot faster than we've been growing emissions. The challenge we have is how do we shrink those emissions? How do we reduce that black line? We've been able to stabilize it while the economy is growing. How do we now move forward and shrink that the, or, or cause that black line to decline over time? Carbon pricing is a key element of that. So I mentioned we, we're, introdu we're introducing a carbon pricing system starting uh, January uh, of this year. It's called a hybrid system. And what does that mean? Uh, it means there's two parts to it. So in, in, the, in its simplest form, every fuel, every liter of fuel in the province that's combusted is subject to a carbon tax unless it's exempted. Uh, and there are some exemptions and they're outlined to the carbon tax. Large industry is exempted from a carbon tax. And why is that? It's because they're subject to a different system called performance uh, standard system. And, th and that's what I'll describe here today. Uh, the plan that we put forward is guided by four overarching principles, maintaining competitiveness, competitiveness from a tax and trade perspective. A lot of, lar a lot of our large industry on gas, uh, valet here, uh, IOC, the refinery and so on, uh, they, they compete in international markets. And what we wanted to do was achieve, put forward a system that achieved greenhouse gas reductions while allowing those uh, pr uh, companies to continue to be uh, profitable and continue to be able to produce. Minimize the impact on consumers and vulnerable groups. That's more of a carbon tax piece, uh, and I won't speak to that a whole lot here today. Recognize the investment in, to decarbonize electricity. So what we were able to talk with with the federal government was how do we achieve credit for the investment in Muskrat Falls while at the same time uh, taking Holy Road offline 15 years prior to the end of its useful life. And of course, delivering uh, reductions in greenhouse gas emissions because that's why we're doing this to start with. So how does it cover our economy? This chart here looks at e our emissions in 2017. On the right-hand side, the dark red and light red is large industry in the province. It accounts combined for about 36, 37% of our emissions. Uh, Holy Road is most of the green on the bottom right. These are sub covered by performance standards, that, and that's the work that I, uh, that I do. Um, what you see there, 47% in total. Uh, is covered by large industry. Some is exempted. Two percentage, is, uh, two percentage points is exempted. So re the practical coverage is 45 out of the 47 percent identified here. Transportation buildings uh, and uh, diesel electricity uh, is covered by a carbon tax. There are some exemptions such as diesel electricity. Uh, the federal government exempted it and we uh, in turn exempted it here as well. I know off-grid electricity was, was discussed yesterday. Stuff that's not covered is basically waste and agriculture. Those are non-energy emissions and they're not subject to carbon pricing. So we'll, what I will talk about is basically what's happening on the right-hand side here. Large industry, who are they? Uh, the dark red, the onshore, that's IOC, uh, the refinery, valets, two facilities, uh, Cornerbrook Pulp and Paper, uh, Tata Steel, uh, and um, uh, St. Lawrence, Canada Flores Bar. Uh, offshore, it's the four production facilities plus the mobile offshore drilling units. Uh, and Holy Road, of course, from, uh, from an electricity perspective.